What's up guys, my name is Thicknumber here for Troubleshoot and in my previous video I went through getting a Discord RPC to work with Visual Studio. So you can see I'm currently using Visual Studio, what file I'm working on, solution, the language on the left hand side and how long I've been working on each file. Clicking around inside of here changes it in Discord and it's basically a really cool way of telling people on Discord exactly what you're doing, say you're an open source developer. It'll be pretty useful for your community to know when you're actually working on a certain project, or certain files, fixing certain things, etc, etc. Of course, you may just want it to show it to your friends if they have a question about where you are, etc, etc. Questions aside, you probably want it installed for one reason or another. And I've already showed you how to do it for Visual Studio 2019, which will be linked down in the description below. But today I'll be showing you how to do it for Visual Studio Code and customize it so that it fits your privacy needs. So first of all, let's go ahead and open up a Visual Studio Code. As you can see, I have something already similar set up where it says Visual Studio Code, the name of the program, says it over here as well editing my file name and then the name of the solution or workspace which I currently have set to hello there stalker btw which is basically hiding the workspace that I have open just for a little privacy setting and I'll be getting into that in a second as well as the language you're working on if you hover over it it says editing an html file and it says how long you've been inside of Visual Studio Code pretty cool so I'll go ahead and uninstall the plugin and show you exactly how to get on your feet with it so now I've removed the plugin, as you can see I'm inside of the file, but Discord is showing nothing, as it would be for you. Let's go ahead and head across to the extensions over here, either hitting Control shift x or hitting this little button on the side. Then at the very top, we'll search for Discord, Presence, P-R-E-S-E-N-C-E, -E, and we'll be clicking on the top one over here. It has this picture by Noel with 128,000 downloads, four and a half stars. All we'll be doing is simply hitting Install, and as you can see, it's already online. There's no restart needed because of the way that Visual Studio Code is programmed compared to the Visual Studio 2019. Anyways, now that we have it installed, you can see that I'm idling. If I go across to a file, you can see Visual Studio Code, editing the name of the file, workspace, followed by the workspace name, at the time elapsed, the language, etc, etc. So how exactly do we go about hiding the workspace? If you'd like to do that, say that you're working on a project, you want people to know that you're working on a certain file or in a certain language, but you don't want them to know what the entire project is, or maybe it's just showing other sensitive information over here regarding a different project workspace when you're not actually inside of a workspace. So with that long explanation aside, how exactly do we edit what kind of information this plugin shows? Well, it's super simple. All we need to do is head back to extensions, search for Discord Presence, or simply look for it in the list at the top here. Once you've found Discord Presence, hit the little settings button in the bottom right hand side of it, and then head across to configure extension settings. And here's where you can change basically everything about the plugin. So whenever you're debugging something, it'll say here, and it basically gives you all of the information. Now the ones that I'll be changing will probably be down here at the bottom where it says lower details debugging, debugging workspace or workspace workspace, and then idling and no workspace at the very bottom here. So this is basically changing the third line over here. So I'll simply change this from no workspace to hello there, smiley face, something similar. I'll also be changing the lower details idle, workspace workspace, and debugging workspace. Once you've done that, you've basically made a little privacy shield so that it doesn't show the workspace that you're in. And that's that. That's the Discord Presence plugin for Visual Studio Code. Again, in the description down below, I touched on installing this sort of plugin for Visual Studio 2019 or 2017 for that matter, and setting up the little privacy shield if you do want there as well. That will be linked in the description down below. It's another YouTube video. It's the one that I uploaded just before this one. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Sick be here for Troubleshoot. I hope you found it useful in at least one way or another. Anyways, I'll see you guys around. Ciao.